what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, I was Jan. I hope you're all doing well today, mate. I'm sitting at my desk. What do you think? Is this better or worse than me standing up presenting? Is it a little bit different? Do you enjoy it? Let me know. Anyway. Yeah. Today's video I want to throw some positive stats at you and give you some context of how Chelsea are doing at the moment. Chelsea are doing really well of course and I'm actually more gassed off a nil-nil draw than I've ever been because it's given me some context of how Chelsea can move forwards this season and in certain games shut out while still posing a threat. This is how people win titles and in today's video I want to pose the question to you people watching me right now. Can Chelsea challenge for both the Premier League and the Champions League. Oh, it's possible, man. We can score goals. We can keep goals out. It's just superb. So settle in, hang out. I'm hanging out. I feel comfortable sitting on my chair. It's a different experience. It's kind of peculiar, really. And let's get into it. Please do consider subscribing. There's daily videos here on Football Therapy. Daily uploads, mate. You might like it. And if you want to support me, you're welcome to do so by dropping a like on this video because apparently it, it helps out a lot. Here's something funny. I was on Match of the Day 2 yesterday on Sunday evening on the Chelsea game. We filmed quite a lot of footage with BBC for me uh, when I was interviewed by the producer asking questions about Frank Lampard, Jose Mourinho, the London derby. And I think I responded with some pretty good answers. The producer seemed happy, but you know, the nature of these clips, you only speak for a few seconds, but still, it's an experience. Laughing at this mug on Match of the Day. Go check out Match of the Day 2 when I play it. It's just a little bit disappointing that it came uh, with a nil-nil draw, especially after, of course, I predicted a Chelsea win. In, which is pretty funny. Right, before I make my case for Chelsea winning the Champions League and the Premier League, but there, but there is a case. Let me take this opportunity to remind you that Football Therapy today is brought to you by OneFootball. OneFootball is the only one-stop platform that you will ever need regarding football, the beautiful game. If you want lineups, statistics, match, fi match fixtures, transfer news, general news, match alerts, anything that you might possibly ever want, you can get on one football and yes my friends it's totally free you can get it by clicking the link in the top of the description do yourself a favor and check out one football now all right then enough of me telling you about match of the day and all this kind of stuff and let's get into the video right i want to talk about chelsea's defensive record and what that means moving forwards and players that haven't really featured so much this season that could be integral moving forward in terms of winning titles but first let me throw some stats at you because i still love statistics remember Remember Jan the stat man? Only the OGs will remember Jan the stat man. <laughs> First off, Chelsea are on an unbeaten streak of 14 games. That's right, 1-4. Four. 14 games they haven't been beaten in 90 minutes. Now I say 90 minutes because of course there was the Tottenham game in there against the, in the cup and Chelsea got eliminated on penalties, but it was one all at 90 minutes and Chelsea actually had the better of it in that 90 minutes. So officially it's registered as a draw, therefore Chelsea haven't been defeated in 14 games. That's an incredibly long unbeaten run. And in said unbeaten run, Chelsea have scored 35 goals! 35. Very impressive. Averaging all stats. Let me look at my notes. That is significantly over two goals per game, which is comfortable. Um, and considering there's a few nil-nil draws in there as well, pretty darn impressive. So when they're expressing themselves, they are converting the goals. Now, when it comes to a more recent defensive record, Chelsea have conceded only two goals. That's right, one two goals in the last nine games. Very, very, very impressive indeed. Especially, I mean, that's an immaculate defensive record for a, you know, notoriously defensively resolute team. They are some long words, I'm saying. But for a Frank Lampard's Chelsea, who was synonymous with conceding a lot of goals to suddenly be defensively immaculate, is superb, man. Very surprising and quite pleasing. <laughs> of course, a lot of that's down to Ben Chilwell, Thiago Silva, and Edouard Mendy coming in. Mendy making a couple of saves yesterday. He's been huge for Chelsea this season. Check out this tweet by my buddy Newman, the YouTuber slash Twitter account, showing you his stats holding up with Petr Cech, them both starting for Chelsea or early doors in their Chelsea career. Of course, it's quite early to come Pair to check with Edouard Mendy, but you know, two goalkeepers from Ren and Mendy slotted straight in, man. It's not just the fact he's making saves, it's the confidence he exudes to the team, you know, coming out, claiming balls all the time. 
Chelsea's defenders are playing better. It just seems a lot more calm and everyone's really, really happy. Hey, check out my silver play button. Anyway, I never thought I'd be so gassed after a nil-nil draw with Tottenham at Stamford Bridge, especially if you look at Stamford Bridge and Tottenham and Chelsea the last 30 odd years. We'll say one loss, just an incredible record. But context is everything, my friends, and it's Jose Mourinho's Tottenham. He looks like he's kind of got his groove back a little bit in terms of like, you know, in terms of classic, Jose Mourinho Alcery, if you excuse my French. And you know, he looks like he's in title winning mode. I don't think Tottenham will win the league, but you know what I mean? That's, if that's the kind of mode or mood Jose Mourinho is in at the moment. So to not lose that game, to not lose the game against Sevilla in the Champions League group, and to not lose against Man United, big important games, keeping a clean sheet. You choose your games to draw and not concede, more importantly, and you you know, you know win all your other games. That's how people win titles, genuinely. And out of the two, obviously, Chelsea were far more threatening than Jose Mourinho's Tottenham at Stamford Bridge last night. Chelsea look really, really well equipped to win the Premier League title. Now, I'm not saying they will, I mean, they might, but they certainly can. And similarly, it's the same with the Champions League. And I'm going to explain to you why. Now, of course, the Champions League is a knockout competition. And that's a lot of that's to do with mentality. Now, Frank Lampard does instill a good mentality into his players. He, you can see from Derby to Chelsea last year to even this year, certain games can get into the players' heads. Now, I say Derby because of the playoffs and stuff. He can really instill this mentality for one-off games um, and that's important in the Champions League man you know even if it's like a nil-nil in certain games or you look not to concede Chelsea last season were out to score goals and impress themselves Chelsea can score goals but if they go out not to concede and you know like Sevilla United and Tottenham you're already halfway there to winning massive games especially knockout football and Chelsea have the roster to do this. Let me explain. Of course, the December fixture list is incredibly congested and mental, and teams are going to start dropping off and finding it difficult. But think about it. Chelsea have been doing pretty darn good recently on this unbeaten run. In the latter stages, they've been without Kai Havertz because of his illness. Christian Pulisic's been out for a long time. Hudson had always been rotated in and out, although he's a quality player and, you know, has performed well. And Olivier Giroud is obviously coming and done very well off the bench. Those four players are yet to really feature as starters and they can be rotated in in the Champions League in these congested fixture schedule over December. Chelsea suddenly have an edge and these players are all generally like offensive players and attackers and the defenders can be rotated a little bit as well but you know they run around less right? Right? Maybe not the fullbacks. What I'm saying is Chelsea have the rotational firepower to deal with different competitions and provided Edouard Mendy can stay in goal for all the games, which you imagine a goalkeeper would do, he seems like a fit boy, they have the chance, Chelsea have the chance to challenge for both the Champions League and the Premier League. I've heard like, you know, neutral broadcasters and journalists say, why not? Why can't Chelsea challenge for the Champions League? Look at everyone this season, like it's a one-off game. If they can keep out superb firepower, like, I don't know, dare I say a Bayern Munich, who have blown hot and cold recently, why can't they go all the way? Remember 2012 when we won the Champions League? We sort of, you know, that was the year we probably shouldn't have won it and we did it. So I pose the question to you in a peculiar season where the new normal is very peculiar. Why not? So I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Let me know in the comment section below. Get down there. What do you think? Can Chelsea challenge for both the Champions League and the Premier League? I want to hear it from you, man. What do you think about me sitting in the chair doing a video like this at my desk? Do you prefer it? Do you prefer me standing? Or is it good to mix it up a little bit? Let me know. Comment down below. Drop a like, please. Subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the football, mate, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me,